Good day po sa atin lahat. Ito naman yung kaibigan po ninyo, si Attorney Mark Tolentino sa programang Attorney Mark Tolentino, Audio on Demand. Yung pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is tungkol po sa search warrant. Pag-uusapan po natin yan, maya-maya. Maramis! Yung pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is tungkol po sa search warrant. Ano ba yung search warrant? Ang search warrant is an order in writing. Dapat nakasulat yan. In the name of the people of the Philippines. So, ibig sabihin, dapat may kaso. Okay? People of the Philippines. Ang nakasign dyan is dapat ang judge. Member po ng judiciary. Hindi kahit sino-sino. Hindi si mayor, hindi si governor, hindi si congressman, si senador, or even the president. Ang pwede mag-issue ng search warrant is only a judge. Okay? Judge, dinirect niya, in order niya yung peace officer to search the personal property described therein. Okay? And bring it to the court. So, ibig sabihin, ang, ang dapat mag-issue ng search warrant, dapat member ng isang judiciary. Ibig sabihin, member ng court. Ibig sabihin, isang judge lang ang pwede mag-issue. So, paano pa mag-apply ng, ng isang search warrant? Okay? Mag-apply ka ng search warrant any court within the territorial jurisdiction a crime was committed. Okay? Any, kahit saan court yan, basta, but within the territorial jurisdiction kung saan nangyari ang crime. But for any reason, okay, the court within the jurisdiction of the crime where the crime was committed is known or any court with the judicial region where the warrant shall be enforced. Okay? Ibig sabihin, una, doon ka mag- mag-file sa court kung saan nangyari ang crime. Or second, for any compelling reason, doon ka mag-file sa any court na may jurisdiction where the crime shall be enforced. So, Okay, where the warrant shall be enforced. Ibig sabihin, where the warrant shall be enforced, kung saan ka pwede mag-search. For example, ang crime nangyari sa Manila. Okay. So, okay, for example, isang murder sa Manila, doon nangyari ang isang crime. But, kailangan mo i-search doon sa Baguio. So, bahay doon sa Baguio. Kasi nandun yata yung baril niya, nandun sa Baguio. In that case, doon ka kumuha sa Baguio. But una, kailangan mo muna mag-apply Uh, first, in priority, where the crime was committed. Second is where the warrant shall be enforced. Okay, yun ang ibig sabihin doon. So, ano yung mga uh, requisito bago ka kumuha ng isang search warrant? Search warrant shall not be issued by the judge except may requirement. Kailangan na may probable cause. Ibig sabihin, may basihan in connection with a specific offense. Okay, kailangan i-determine niya personally by the judge okay sa mga witnesses na, na he may produce okay so may mga witnesses kailangan ba personally determine niya na may possibility na crime uh, may be or is possibly committed okay so yun mag-issue siya ng isang search warrant pag may search warrant na may right na ang isang police officer na to break the door or window of the search. So, ibig sabihin, ang isang police officer, una, matatok mo na, sabi na batas, oh, the officer, if refuse admittance, okay, pag kumatok, tapos ayaw papasukin, may search warrant siya, pwede niya, may karpatan siyang sirain ang pintuan or yung mga window ng isang bahay na na ordered specifically determined or specific specifically naka-order doon sa search warrant na kailangan i-search. Okay, una, kumatok ka muna. Hindi bigla ka lang pumasok doon then uh, mag-search ka sa bahay na 'yan. Only if refused, pwede mong sirain yung pintuan or yung mga windows kung you were refused. Una, ang unang gagawin mo is kailangan mo muna kumatok. Hindi pwedeng bigla kang pumasok. Okay, 'yun ang ibig sabihin ng batas only if refused. Okay? Yun ang ibig sabihin doon. Then, another one, yung search warrant shall be made, hindi pwedeng pumasok yung isang polis doon sa isang bahay na walang tao. Very clear ang batas, ha? Sabi ng batas, 
no search of a house room or any premises except by requirement in the presence of a lawful occupant. Kailangan may tao yung bahay. Hindi pwedeng basta-basta pumasok ang isang police officer kahit may search warrant siya tapos yung bahay na yan wala palang tao. Kailangan only in the presence of a lawful occupant or any member of his family. Okay? Yung word is any member of his family. Kailangan may tao doon. Yung lawful, of, law, lawful occupant na doon or kung hindi, any member of his family. Kung wala, at least two witnesses of sufficient age or discretion residing in the same locality. So, pwede barangay kagawad, pwede kapitbahay, at least dalawang witness. So, pagpasok doon, hindi pwede na walang tao ang bahay. Kung mag-search man sila, kailangan na may tao, at least dalawang tao, sufficient age and discretion. Ibig sabihin, at least 18. Pumunta doon, uh, then yung tao na yan, yung mag-witness, kailangan residing in the same locality. So, mas maganda, uh, barangay tanod, barangay kagawad, uh, basta residing in the same locality. So, yun ang ibig sabihin doon. Hindi pwede mag-search ka sa isang bahay na walang tao. So, another. Ang search warrant, it must be it must be served only in the daytime. Ibig sabihin, daytime, 6 o'clock in the morning up to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Walang search warrant na mangyayari pag gabi. Okay? Search warrant must be must direct only in the daytime. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. daytime hindi pwedeng gabi. But may exception. Except, pag may affidavit asserting that the property is on a person ordered to be searched, in that case, direction may be granted search at any time of the day or night. Ibig sabihin doon, kung yung waran, tahimik, kailangan umaga lang. Except, pag may nakalagay doon sa search warrant na pwedeng gabi. Pag may nakalagay sa so pwedeng gabi, pwede umaga. Kung may nakalagay sa search warrant, pero kung ang search warrant tahimik, Umaga lang pwedeng mag-search sa bahay or sa building. Umaga lang. Except pag yung search warrant nakalagay doon na pwedeng gabi. In that case, pwedeng gabi, pwedeng umaga. And another issue here, yung search warrant na issue ng judge, valid lang yan ng 10 days from its date. After 10 days, void na yan. Ibig sabihin, may expiration ang search warrant sa buong araw lang. After 10 days, void na yan. Okay, expired na yan. Yun ang ibig sabihin doon. Yung officer pala na nag-seize ng mga properties under the warrant, kailangan may isang, may resibo. May pipermahan siyang resibo, may nakadetail yung mga tao kung sino nandun sa premises, ano yung bagay na kinukuha, or yung dalawang tao na witness, kailangan nakadetail doon sa resibo na i-issue niya in the place in which he found the seized property. Then, Kailangan siya mag-iwan ng resibo doon sa place kung saan siya nag-search. Ibig sabihin, kailangan yung isang police officer mag-issue ng isang resibo. Yung resibo, kailangan ibigay din doon sa lawful occupant ng property or yung two witnesses ng is- na kagawad or barangay, ibigyan ng resibo. Proof yan na ano yung kinukuha niya. Okay? Kailangan may resibo may proper chain of custody ng pagkuha ng property. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan na may tamang resibo. May proper document na pipermahan siya, then ano yung kinukuha niya sa bahay na yan, then sino yung nakawitness sa pagkuha niya ng mga, mga properties na yan, pursuant to the search warrant. Another, kailangan yung officer must deliver the search property, the seized property to the judge who issued the warrant. Kailangan kung ano yung nakuha niya, baril man yan, drugs man yan, kailangan i-deliver niya sa, sa judge kung sino yung nag-issue ng warrant together with the proper inventory and it must be verified. Gagawa siya ng isang affidavit kung paano niya nakuha yung properties na yan, paano niya nakuha yung gamit na yan and properly identified yan. Nakatas doon yung resibo and kailangan niyang i-deliver doon sa judge na nag-issue. Ten days after the issuance, kung wala namang siya nakuha, kailangan din siya mag-report ng judge na walang nangyari within 10 days kasi ang, ang search warrant as what I've said uh, void na yan after 10 days kasi expired na yan after 10 days please don't forget may tinatawag na lawful incident search incident to lawful arrest uh, it, itong search incident incident to a lawful arrest may arresto 
legal yung pag-arrest, then of course, if you arrest a person, normal yan na, na kahit na kailangan mong i-search yung isang tao. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung tinatawag na search warrant. Iba yan sa warrant of arrest na i- I will explain later on. But itong search warrant, 10 days lang yan. Then, kailangan, as a general rule, umaga lang pwedeng mag-search sa bahay. And hindi ka pwedeng mag-search sa bahay kung walang tao doon sa bahay na yan except pag may witness o nandun yung lawful occupant or any member of his family. So, ito naman yung kaibigan po ninyo, si attorney, Mark Tolentino sa programang Attorney Mark Tolentino Audio on Demand For free legal advice Please call me Landline within Metro Manila 7 I repeat po 7 And mobile number natin Pwede kayo mag-text, tumawag Or through Viber or WhatsApp Sa 0917- 329-5353 I repeat po 0917-329-5353 And pwede rin kayong tumawag mag-text o through fiber sa 0932-8856203 And please follow me sa Facebook page po natin sa facebook.com slash Mark Tolentino Law and sa YouTube page po natin sa youtube.com slash Mark Tolentino Law Black. Thank you po for following me and please support all my videos and blogs. Ito naman yung kaibigan po ninyo, si Attorney Mark Tolentino.